Why you healthy before? Believing faith and miracle will follow. Give you and your health a second chance. May I tell you why I'm so passionate about helping you take control of your health? So right now I'm 53 years old. Many times people look at me and think that I have always been super healthy, but that isn't the case at all. After I got divorced, my health spiraled out of control. It seems like I was dealing with health challenge after health challenge. The first health crisis I experienced was when I was 43. My normal monthly blood flow got so bad that it was consistently soaking through my clothes. It felt uncontrollable, no matter what I did, and I was certain that I would die if I kept breathing like this. I was really worried and I knew that something must be wrong. The only things I knew was that I was breathing like crazy and another strange symptom were happening too. There are times it felt like I was in a sinking ship. I had the worst case of dizziness. Everything was con constantly spinning, even when I was laying down. I couldn't do the activity that I was used to. I could hardly go long walk and hiking up a hill become nearly impossible. The things I was so comfortable doing and made me feel good were things I just couldn't do anymore. When I tried to be active, I had to stop to catch my breath because I felt I would faint and fall over. I felt so weak and I wasn't able to do all the things I enjoyed doing. I couldn't go on like this. One evening when I was tired and laying down, I received a phone call and laboratory for my blood test result came and they told me I need to go to emergency room and get blood transfusion right away. My hemoglobin level was seven. Though I didn't know what the seven means, it sounded bad. When I got this news, I was shocked, afraid, and too tired to move, so I didn't go to ER. After lab test and ultrasound, I was told that I had fibrosis of the uterus and they were causing the problem. I was shocked when they told me that taking my uterus out is one option. When I had this news about wanting to take out my uterus, I decided I was going to figure out a better way and I did. I decided to regain control of my health and figure out what I could do about this situation. I started to learn about natural way to shrink in my fibro fibroids to hopefully avoid the big surgery. When I started implementing what I was learning, my fibroids started to get smaller. 
I was so relieved. I no longer needed to have a hysterectomy. Grave free, I still have my uterus today. This was the beginning of the realizing that I could take control of my health and learn about preventive health before having to undergo invasive and life-changing approach like big surgery. Another health challenge I experienced was varicose vein. I was dealing with constantly painful throbbing and aching legs. My physician recommended that I wear compression stocking to ease the pain. While they did help, I felt so old and like less of women. I was fine with wearing stocking during winter, but once summer came around, I was so hot all the time and then after not wearing them when I go outside, it became, became uh, unbreathable, exhausting, and I felt like I might have a heat stroke. At this point, my doctor recommended start exercise, but it seems like nothing was helping. Eventually, I had enough of wearing the compression stocking. In the summer, and exercise was not helping. So once again, I decided to claim my health and figure out what I could do about this situation. By tailoring my exercise routine to strengthen my legs in the area that were causing the pain, I was able to say goodbye to the throbbing pain and those ugly complexion stockings. I was so proud of myself for getting this far and happy that I get to wear any clothes I want without worry. You would have thought I was done with my share of my health challenge. However, that wasn't the case. Clearly, I needed to learn more about natural healing as I age and to not give up. My most difficult moment in my health journey was when I had there was really annoying health challenge. I started to experience pain numbness in my shoulder that ran down my arm and hand. Occasionally, the pain would hit me unexpectedly, like lightning. Sometimes the shooting pain would wake me up middle of the night. This constant pain made me feel down and grumpy. I didn't feel safe to drive. I thought about what would happen if the pain hit me suddenly or I couldn't turn my head when I needed to. I thought about how I could end up causing an accident due to my pain. I went to get an x-ray to figure out what was going on. I discovered that I have degenerative disc disease in my cervical spine. One physician told me the reason for my pain was that I was getting old. At the, at the time, I was in my 40s and I didn't want this pain for the rest of my life. I was told surgery was option 
However, I believe that our body is capable of recovery, that there had to be another way to recover. Just like uh, two other health challenges I experienced, I has decided to reclaim my health through natural method and figure out what I could do about this situation. I'm grateful that I didn't get the surgery because today I'm capable and healthy, I'm fit, energetic, and I can jog up the mountain and enjoy the life. I felt lucky to have had so many opportunities to reclaim my house and have a second chance. Faith has a habit of leading us in a ways we don't often expect. This is exactly what happened to me when I began realize that I had the ability to change my house. As a result, what I experienced, I knew I had to learn more about body's ability to heal itself. If I couldn't do it, if I could do it, I wanted other be able to do too. I started to study and learn much as much as could about natural healing and optimizing uh, my body. I didn't want anyone to suffer like I did when there was another option besides having big surgery. My life has completely changed because of my personal health challenge. They led me to the job I do today. When I realized there was a better way, I began to learn many ways to control our health and put our wellness into our own hands. I became a certified health and wellness coach, and now I'm certified personal trainer. And I'm becoming a fitness nutritionist. Today, my clients love to hear my innovative health and wellness techniques. And I see many positive change. I often get clients that tell me they have tried everything uh, at the end of rope. It seems that nothing is helping. And they say they feel helpless. I remember feeling the same way with my own health issues. I felt so strongly about helping others reclaim their health, just I was able to in the past. I'm always happy to hear my clients say that they love to look and feel younger, and I inspired to be their best uh, any age. Just like me, it is never too late to give you and your health a second chance. Let me say it again. It's never too late to give you and your health a second chance.